What's up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerdvengers Tower. And Sam Jackson is currently in the news making comments again about coming back as the character of Mace Windu for Star Wars. And I want to talk about this. I want to go over some of the things that he's saying. But then I want to actually take it one step further because although this is all really fun and we can speculate about how it could happen, there's actually evidence that Lucasfilm is already doing this and developing content around Mace Windu. So let's first show you this clip. This is from the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast with Josh Horowitz, and he's asking Sam Jackson about coming back as Mace Windu, and then he he name drops Bryce Dallas Howard. She, by the way, shared this clip on her Twitter, which has, again, given new life into the, the rumor and everything like that. So let's watch this, and, uh, and then we'll talk about it. It brought everybody back, Sam. What's going on? The Obi-Wan trailer just dropped the other day. Is Mace Windu, he's alive with one hand somewhere. 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 Yeah, somewhere. Well, that's the same way I think about dude from, you know, Jurassic Park. He's somewhere <laughs> riding around on velociraptors <laughs> with one arm. You know, he's, <laughs> he's just on the island just... Right. Yo. <laughs> riding raptors, you know, but... Should I hold out hope at this point for that's Mace? A, that's you... a huge history of people with one hand returning in Star Wars. True. Uh, I asked, I asked, the only person I've ever said that to about coming back was Bryce Dallas Howard because I, I just did a movie with her and she directs episodes of The Mandalorian and stuff. So, so you think you might be able to right, hook a brother up? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you like me, right? <laughs> and she's like, I love you. You're amazing. So, so put me back in this. <laughs> put me back put in the game. In, I'm ready. <laughs> put me in, coach. I'm ready. You know, I'll learn to, you know, lightsaber left-handed. Come on. But actually, that's not the first time I've seen Sam Jackson talking about coming back to Star Wars. In fact, one of my favorite favorite Star Wars memories ever has to do with being there for the 40th anniversary of Star Wars in Orlando for that Star Wars celebration. There was a big 40th anniversary panel, which George Lucas actually attended. Everybody was shocked when George walked out there and they had a bunch of people there and then they had people submitting videos. So Sam Jackson wasn't actually there. He submitted a video and he's talking about how cool it was to work with George and what Star Wars means to him. And then he ends his little video talking about how hey and everybody i know that mace windu could come back i mean come on jedis can survive big falls jedis can survive losing an arm so come on guys you know and the crowd went crazy everybody uh loved it uh while you're all sitting there i know you're all in my corner on this we know jedis can fall from incredible heights and survive so apparently i am not dead Yes, I have two appendages right now, but we know the long and rich history of Star Wars characters reappearing with new appendages and being stronger and better than they ever were. Mace Windu is awaiting his return. The idea of Mace Windu being alive is certainly something that has been on many Star Wars fans minds and it's kind of fun when something like this pops back into pop culture and we start talking about it and it's a, it's a really feel good moment, but Again, what's crazy about this is that there's actually evidence that this is something that Lucasfilm really does want to develop. I want to show you a article here on FullCircleCinema.com. And what's crazy is I remembered covering this. We did a video on this on the Den of Nerds channel like over a year ago. This was uh, from September of 2020. So about two years ago at this point. Um, and in this article, they discussed that Daniel Rickman, an insider, said that they are developing a new project featuring Jedi Mace Windu. Uh, per Rickman's original scoop, the upcoming project will primarily focus on a younger version of the character than fans are used to. However, cinematic icon Samuel L. Jackson is in talks to reprise the role he made famous. That being said, a new younger actor will come in and do a bulk of the story's heavy lifting as the character's origins are explored. And the thing is, I reached out to Daniel today just to make sure. I was like, yo, was this something you actually reported on? And he said, yes, this was something he heard a long time ago. Now, he doesn't know if it's actually going to happen. It could happen. It was certainly something that he heard at the time. And it's important to note that like, there are a ton of different Star Wars ideas and concepts that get thrown around. I mean, just like all major studios, they develop a lot of ideas. And sometimes those developed projects make it 
pretty far and then disappear. Sometimes they don't even make it that far, but they are discussed. And there's a ton of stuff that Star Wars has on their sort of whiteboard for things that they could do. However, I would say that even though they had been thinking about this two years ago, if Kenobi is a big success, which I think it absolutely will be, it would make a lot of sense for them to go to other cool legacy type characters that are already beloved by the fan base. And so in the pitch that Daniel was talking about back then, it would have been a young Samuel L. Jackson or rather a young actor playing a young Mace Windu to talk about his origins and things going on within the Jedi. And it did say that Samuel L. Jackson would come back to the role. And so Sam really wants to come back. And so if they did this, it would have to be a story that maybe touched on his origins and also showed us where he was at currently within the canon. Like, why isn't he around during the original trilogy? Why isn't he involved in any of the big plots or things that we know of? And there's even something else really juicy going on here, right? Because there's all this talk of different Jedi popping up in the Kenobi show, this other group of Jedi that wanted to reestablish the Order. And even in the time of the Mandalorian, we see Luke establishing his Jedi, but then Ahsoka's kind of doing her own thing. And there's somebody like Grogu, who studies a little bit with Luke, but ultimately goes on his own path. And so it does seem like Lucasfilm has ideas for, you know, Jedi-like stories that are outside of, like, the main through line of canon. And with a character like Mace Windu, there's all sorts of cool things that you could be doing with that character. I mean, perhaps he does get tracked down and killed by Boba Fett, which was something that Tamara Morrison badly wanted to happen for, like, a season two of the Book of Boba Fett. Maybe Mace was involved in his own little group of Jedi, or maybe he finds his own Padawan that he's training to try to then take over the Empire, because if Mace is around, we can assume he wants to shut down the Emperor, we can assume he wants to take out Vader, uh, and maybe he was just doing that at a time or in a place that's, that's sort of outside of the scope of a lot of the Star Wars stories we've already seen. So, I don't know, guys, but I would love more Mace Windu content, and so this is, this is popping right now. People are talking talking about it and it actually does have a, a sort of track record of being an actual story from a very reliable insider. Uh, so there you have it, guys. What do you make of all this? What would you like to see with the Mace Windu character? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. If you liked this video, smash a like on it. It does help us out over here. And I hope that wherever this video is finding you at, that you are having an awesome and a nerdy day. And I'll see you in the next video.